Welcome to ECW Basic Navigation. I am your host, Alma Arma with Health Efficient. Today we're going to begin by logging into ECW. You would do that by double clicking on the icon. Next, you would enter your username and your password, both of which are case sensitive. And then you click login. This prompt here is because we've upgraded to version 10E. So version 10E asks you if you would like to use the U URL version. And if not, you can click the word close and go to the classic view. I'm gonna go with classic view, so I'm gonna close this window. I'm gonna click okay for the prompt. And we're now inside ECW. So I'm going to point out all of the items that you see on the screen one at a time. We're gonna begin with the user band. The user band is located at the very top of the screen. It is the gray band. Here where you see the words E Clinical Works. You then see the username, you see the facility, and then you see the product environment. So in this training, you're gonna be trained using the demo version. You could see product in your work environment. You could see the word train, but they have many different platforms that we use. They do offer some differences in the menu items available. So I'll try to keep cognizant of that as we move on. Next, you have the menu band. The menu band is just below the user band, which is now blue. <laughs> we have in the menu band 13 menu drop down items. So you have file, patient, schedule, EMR, billing, reports, etc. We are going to begin by pointing out the most prevalent, which are the file and the lock menu. These two are the most generally used menu items in ECW. We're going to start with file. The file menu allows you to access changes to user and facility settings. You can also select refresh counts option, which is right here. And this will update your information. It will take at least one minute to update, but that is the refresh counts option. We also have settings and my settings, which we will come back to shortly. But there are several tabs in there for you to designate your settings. I think we should go ahead and visit it now. Here you have my providers. Here's where you would select providers that you want to see their schedules. You want to make sure that you have your default appointment facility set. Here we are using HCNNY Medical as our default facility, but you could change it depending on your facility. Here are the providers that we have selected. We have one provider here on the left, which is Sam Willis, our licensed social worker, who is not visible. If we wanted to see Sam's schedule, we would select Sam, select the arrow and move Sam over to the screen. Now, his schedule will not be available right away. You would have to not only select OK, but you'd have to log out and log back in for all changes to take effect in this tab. We're going to move on to the user settings. <clears throat> user settings allows you to select from several options depending on the user's preference. I want to bring your attention to my home screen. The my home screen allows you to select which options you want to visit or you want to view on the home screen. Most front office staff will select office visits. However, if you are a biller, you may select claims. If you are a lab tech, you may select labs and imaging. So you want to select the option that is for the role or position that you cover. A side note for all IT staff, you could select from the bottom, copy my settings, and you could copy settings by position, by role, or by staff member. This would help you to have a shortcut when doing so. Okay, so I've selected office visits. I'm going to select okay. And again, we're going to get that prompt that says, please log in again for your changes to take effect. I'm going to select okay. And we have set up 
the My Settings. Let's take a look at the next tab here, which is the Patient tab. The Patient menu allows you to look up and create new patients, create pre-made letters, and access or create telephone encounters. The Schedule menu allows you to set appointments, modify and block provider schedules. The EMR menu allows you to customize the electronic medical record. For example, you can create and modify alerts, labs and order sets, visit codes and more. The billing menu allows you to customize fee schedules, insurance and code combinations. You can perform hard locks, hard closes, HICFA mapping, clearinghouse data and setup and more. The Reports menu allows you to run reports, for example, end-of-day reports, physician productivity reports, canceled visits, claim scrub log, and you can visit the EMR or the Report Console. CCD. The CCD menu stands for Continuity of Care. It allows you to import and export CCD information. The Facts tab, the Facts menu, allows you to perform additional administrative functions. The Tools and Community also allow you to do additional administrative functions. The Meaningful Use tab, when selected, it allows you to access meaningful use reports. We don't want to access that. The lock menu allows you to lock eClinical Works or lock the workstation. It is always recommended that you lock your workstation when you are not using your computer. The help menu allows you to access the support website and system information. Also, I want to bring your attention to the minimize and the restore button you also have in the far corner, which you can't see on your screen right now, but an X. We'll come back to that a little bit later. Let's move for now on to the navigation bands located on the left of the screen or the window. And we're gonna begin with the admin band. The admin band allows users with administrative rights to make system and dictionary changes. Here you could add provider and staff and unlock user accounts. The practice band allows you to access several scheduling tools. You could access the resource schedule. You could access individual provider schedules. You could access office visits out of office visits, and pre-registration, patient pre-registration right here. The registry band allows you to access the recall system. Here you can recall a patient, look up an encounter, and perform chronic care reporting. For example, if you have a client with, say, diabetes, you could report that here. Moving along, we have the referrals ban. The referrals ban allows you to access incoming, outgoing referrals and care plan management messages and events. The message ban allows you to access the internal messaging system as well as the patient portal messaging system. You scroll down a little bit more so you can get a better view. The documents ban allows you to access various documents from incoming and outgoing faxes, e-prescriptions, patient documents, e forms, and transcriptions. Last, we have the billing band. The billing band allows you to access patient encounters, claims,
electronic remittance advice, claim status, patient statements, and much more. Let us now switch our attention by scrolling up. We're going to go back to the practice band. And we're going to bring our attention to the jelly beans on the side. I'm going to try to scroll over so we can get a better view. Okay. There are six jelly beans. And going from right to left, we start with the M jelly bean. The M jelly bean is used for accessing messages from the ECW internal messaging system. You can find the inbox, the outbox, or you could create a new message. The L allows you to access labs, imaging, procedures, procedures that are pending approval and those which need to be reconciled. The T jelly bean allows you to access telephone encounters, web encounters, and claims messaging. You can create new telephone encounters here as well. The R jelly bean allows you to message to access referrals, incoming and outgoing. The D jelly bean is for incoming and outgoing documents and fax messages. The S jelly bean is to review progress notes, office visits, and resource schedules. And the progress notes, or should I say, and for providers, the number of patients that have arrived would also appear. Now, each of these jelly beans has a grade circle with a number. This number indicates how many messages are waiting. These messages are also color coded. So yellow would indicate that you have a message. Red would indicate the messages of high importance. Zero means I have absolutely no messages. I'm not very busy today in ECW. Normally when we when in use, the uh, red or yellow again indicate priority. If any of these jelly beans are grayed out, then they are inaccessible to you in your role or position. Okay, let us move on now to the patient lookup. Patients can be looked up one of two ways. You can look up a patient by going to the file menu, I'm sorry, the patient menu, and then look up here. Or you could just jump to the search button or the quick shortcut icon and you would select patient lookup, quick registration, or insurance by provider lookup. We're going to select patient lookup. For this training, we're going to look up Mrs. Mouse. We're going to begin by putting in her last name. And we want Minnie Mouse. Once we have highlighted the patient, well, let me back up. We can look here. When we look up the patient, the patient can be searched for by name. By selecting this drop down, you could change the search to be social security number, date of birth, account number, etc. But again, we're going by last name. So we're going to select OK. And this will take us to what is known as the patient hub. I'm going to, for this training, click on her progress note so that I can show you other tabs. But just note here in the patient hub, you can access patient information. You can see patient's account information and balances, last appointments. There's so much information in the hub. Many people operate from this screen when they're in front desk and clinical staff. Okay, let's go ahead and select progress note. And we have brought up Mrs. Mouse's progress note. Here you could see we have a lot of the shortcuts we had in the hub. And so we're gonna take a look at now at the top of the screen what we call the olives. 
These three buttons allow you to customize your workspace. This area right here where I'm moving the mouse around is considered the workspace. So by selecting the left show hide button or left olive, you would hide or view the left navigation pane. Again, hide or view the left navigation pane. The middle would allow you to hide this top bar and this one would allow you to hide the items here on the right. So the left button reveals and hides the navigation band to the left window. The middle button hides and reveals the patient dashboard within the patient progress note. The right button reveals, the right button here reveals the progress note or patient data area. Please note that these buttons change color depending on the status selected for the progress note or dashboard. When they are green, they are indicating show. Blue indicates that it is automatically hidden. Red indicates that the item selected is now being hidden. You can see how it turns red, it's now hidden. And these two, the middle and the right, they also now in version 10E turn yellow. Yellow indicates that the panels are hidden by default and therefore they have to be selected. Last but not least, we want to go to logging out. In order to log out of ECW, we would select file and exit. Or we could go all the way over here and just click the X at the top of the screen, this X. We will be prompted, are you sure you want to close the application? Yes, we are sure. And as always, we recommend you log out of ECW when you're not using it for security purposes. That concludes our video demonstration of ECW's basic navigation. Thanks for joining Health Efficient.